Good morning, TCIS community. I'm Mimi, and I'm here to bring you the latest announcements and updates. Hold on tight, we've got a lot to cover, from upcoming events to sports. Let's get started. Some exciting events are on the horizon. Lovebirds, take note. Roses and Chocos Day has a new date. Mark February 22nd in your calendars for a sweet start to your weekend. High schoolers, get ready to hit the dance floor. The high school dance is just around the corner on February 2nd, promising a night of fun and unforgettable memories. On January 27th, we'll be having our parent-teacher conference, a crucial opportunity between parents and teachers to ensure the best support for the students. Whether you're a fan of classical compositions or just looking to be swept away by beautiful tunes, join us on Thursday for the String Choir Concert. On February 2nd, TCIS will celebrate the Chinese New Year, the Year of the Dragon, and after, we'll have an 11-day break to rest. Get ready for some slam dunk action. Our varsity basketball team is gearing up for an intense showdown with KIS this Friday. And that's not all. For our younger athletes in grade three to five, the track and field event promises to be a showcase of talent and determination featuring Concordian, Berkeley, and D Prep. Let's see what Boda is doing down at the field. Hi, I'm Boda. I'm here at the field reporting on the tracks and field events. Here I can say the students from our school, D Prep, Berkeley, and Concordian are going high on high to tracks and field. Let's see how students doing. The purpose of the track and field event um, is to introduce students to something a little bit more unconventional that we're used to over here in TCIS. Uh, it's a throwing, running, and jumping competition between four schools. Um, we're going to try to do that each and every year from now on. Uh, it's just to kind of introduce students to something that they're really used to uh, and get them involved in something active. So who wins this game? We did not win as a team. We got uh -huh. third place in the middle school competition and we got fourth place in the elementary competition. But we did have a few individual students win. We had even in grade five win the shot put competition. And we actually finished first in the 100 meter grade four student Ava, uh, but she was awarded second place on the day of the tournament. We looked back and there was a photo of her crossing the finish line uh, first. And so we're actually going to get a gold medal for her uh, this week. Hello, what's your name? Even. Which grade are you from? Grade 5A. So how do you feel when you win? I feel so happy that I cry. You cry? Yeah. How does that feel? I feel like super happy and everybody cheer and I feel happy. I myself almost cried watching the competition. Uh, one of the students, grade four, Neptune, she competed in the 600 meters, which is three laps around the track. Uh, she didn't quite finish the race like she wanted to, but her mother ran with her along the track to finish. And uh, yeah, it uh, choked a lot of people up. I saw a couple parents crying, uh, and that's what it's all about. Just kind of having fun with the family, uh, competing in a, in a fun atmosphere. Uh, it's pulls the strings a little bit, it's nice. Here's what we got for track and field competition. I'm Boda, signing off from WTV. Thank you, Boda, for the wonderful segment. And now, on to Aiko, about Career Day. Hi, today I'm at the Career Day event, and we're at the 360, where there will be professionals coming to explain their professions to the students. The purpose of Career Day is for students who don't know what they're going to do in the future. It gives them a chance to explore different careers as well as for students who already know what they're going to do in the future. It's like another chance for them to reevaluate whether or not they really want to go into that career. Yeah, I got a good grasp of what I'll be expecting in the dentistry field if I choose it and also what to prepare for it. They give me some pretty good tips on what courses to take and if I should take any APs or what activities should I do and what things should I put in my portfolio? Um, I wasn't sure about psychology at first, and then um, when he explained the details and like aspects of it, like the benefits and um, the disadvantages, and then I learned a lot. 
Yes, I'm interested in the dentistry and psychology professions because as someone who wants to go into the medical field, I want to know how life is like there and you know what I need to do in order to get into those professions. So having career day and having those guest speakers on, you know, AT centers, it helped me. It was an education experience for me, and I'm excited to, you know, if there's any more career days in the future, I would love to attend. Now that's all for career day. This is Aiko signing off. Hey, what's up? Uh, you're looking fine today. Oh, I didn't see you there. Um, thank you, Aiko, for the wonderful segment. And now, on to me about the spotlight. As we come to TCIS every single morning, we are always greeted by the guards. Today, we want to shine a spotlight on them to see how their life is like at TCIS. I think they're really nice. Like, they do seem a little intimidating at first, but they actually, like, have more emotions than what I thought. They, you know, they're really nice. They open the door for you. They kind of like stop the cars for you when you're passing by. They're really adorable. Mm -hmm. Well, they carry my things when my parents are there and I can't really carry them sometimes. Do they like open the doors for you? Yeah. Yeah, that's, isn't that nice that they yeah. open the doors for you? Yeah, that's really great. Um, do you like the security guards here? Are they nice to you? Yeah, they're yeah. really nice. หมายถึงชื่อน้าณณาชื่อนางสาวไพเราะนั่นนิยมทําอยู่บริษัทพีซีเอสเนี่ยมาห้าเดือนแล้วอยู่ที่โรงเรียนนี้ก็เฉพา